morning internet so this is kind of weird so just a minute ago like literally my electricity went out and that's not necessarily i mean it's weird but it's not that weird i did get forewarning i live on a military installation and about two weeks ago they put out a memo that said they were going to do some sort of emergency blackout training they wanted to test their emergency response system so they said they were going to shut off all the electricity and um, i don't know to with the rest of my day it's supposed to be out for roughly 12 hours um and it is currently nine a.m. So yeah, what are we going to do, girl? I'm probably not going to do anything artsy this weekend. I'm preparing for my husband to return home. I am going to make a welcome back home sign for him, and I was honestly probably going to use some of my gouache because it seemed like it would be easier to paint in big letters, but I don't have the colors that I want, so I think I'm just gonna use acrylic paint pens, and I feel like it's gonna take forever. I'm glad I didn't get a bigger poster board. The most stressful part about a returning home ceremony is trying to find the soldier amongst the crowds. It gets really crowded and really confusing really fast, and that actually gives me a lot of anxiety. So this time, we're gonna make a, this is where I am sign. I'm honestly gonna do this in like red, white, and blue, and then I've got a little Simba right there to like represent me. Maybe he'll see that from afar. Probably didn't need to use this much gold, but it gives me an excuse to use it. There we go. And I guess it's better late than never. I'm gonna try and clean out my art table. It's been a long time coming. And I guess let's put you someplace where I'll inevitably forget you. I was wondering where my black Posca pens went a few minutes ago when I needed them. And they were all in here. My bad. That's from when I did the pumpkin for Halloween. I'd put them in there and I forgot about them. Yep. So my little trolley here, I may rearrange this because I had paints on top. The ones that were in tubes down here in the bottom and then I had sketchbooks down below. And now I have so many sketchbooks and they're all sorts of different sizes. I don't really pull from my tubes that much, so I, but I, they just look pretty. So I may move them down here, and then I may actually put all of my sketchbooks maybe on top. It's not quite as aesthetic, but I, I just have so many going on at one time. I, I got sketchbooks all over the place. There's more down there. I just kind of want to have them readily available, so I think I'll just stack them up here. These I'm gonna go put in my stationary drawer in the other room. Here's another paint marker I forgot that I had purchased. And my Copic opaque white that actually, I forgot that I had that too. And then these are individual pastel watercolors, still watercolors. And then these are extra. This Dabila Woody, and these are so cute. This was a mini palette that I had made. I was gonna send that off to somebody and then I made a different one because this one doesn't close all the way but it's still cute and has paint in it. Yeah, not me getting distracted. So I drew this dude a long time ago and I actually still really like the way his upper body looks but I couldn't ever figure out what to do with his back legs and I still don't know what to do with his back legs but he still looks pretty good. Okay, wait, I have to come back later. And this might be controversial, but I'm going to put all of my Derwent drawing pencils into my colored pencil basket just so I don't forget to use them. So, ta-da, all clean. I did not really organize this thing because someone messed it up anyway, but this is my primary, like my, my main stash of the most frequently used colored pencils, my white pens, my pit artist pens, and my pair of scissors that I use a ton. Um, I'm using this mug to collect my pencil shavings. This little thing here is my main set of colored pencils that I use and some unorganized pens. And then those are all of my Prisma colors, which I don't really use that often, but they're there in case I need them. 
I have my container of my paint brushes and my sketching pencils. I use a lot of the Prisma Color Race color pencils. My primary palette is right here. My little dingle bobbers to hold my sketchbooks open. And then we'll go over to my corner. I used to do all of my artwork on that side of the table up until recently I moved to this side of the table. I think just because of the change of the seasons, the blinds are giving weird blind shadows on the table and it disrupts my filming process. So that's why I'm over there now instead of over here. But my little cart. So I've got my current sketchbooks that I have going that I frequently reach for. I also have just a couple extra. I know these things are supposed to be stored horizontally, but whatever. But I have uh, a couple extra random like acrylic paint pens and stuff. I do actually really like the grabby acrylic paint pens a lot. I've got some extra pencil sharpeners. I put my drawing gum back in there. This, again, this used to be organized too, but that's about as good as it's going to get. I've got my Holbein acrylic gouache, my Turner acrylic gouache, some spare palettes, which are just going to sit there because I'm running out of palettes. And again, these were organized up until I redid my palette recently, but I had them like coordinated based on like my Shinhan colors, more Holbein colors, my Schmincke colors, and some of the Da Vinci colors. Down here, I've got just some of my tube uh, gouache box. Just because the box art is pretty and it makes me smile to have them here. I do, or I used to, use the Sui gouache a whole lot. And I didn't want to pull them out of the box. But all these other ones are pretty much empty that I put up here. I just like the box. Well, like these watercolors still have the watercolors in them. Because, uh... I squirt them into half pans. It was fine. Same thing with the Shanahan ones, but the, the gouaches I've taken out and I've put them up here. So down here also, I've got a couple of my other extra pastel palettes that I didn't feel like putting in my primary palette. This is the White Knights one. This is my secondary paint palette that has like, well, I took most of everything out of it, but it was primarily like my um, primary colors, I guess. And then my Japanese watercolors are down here. So you can see, this is what happens. This one I forgot about. These were some of the Japanese watercolors that the, actually I got sent to me by the Kuretake brand. They sent those to me. Don't make fun of how I pronounce it. So I've got just a bunch of all of the Japanese colors that I've gotten in the past. Nice and cleanly. Good morning, YouTube. As you can see, my husband has returned from overseas and he's already taking up all of my free space. But that's okay. We're starting to settle into a new form of normal. His mother came down and spent the long weekend with us and we did a lot of sightseeing and stuff. So that's why I've been away. My husband did bring me back some gifts from Europe and I kind of wanted to show them. And also I did a little bit of shopping at the Barnes and Noble the other day and I kind of wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I got from Barnes and Noble. So maybe not terribly artistic today, well sort of, but uh, yeah, let's just, I just want to show what I got. Gotta just push these out of the way here. So my husband usually tries to bring me back little Starbucks You Are Here mugs just to add to my collection. I don't necessarily have that many, but I do think that they're really nifty little gifts. So he got me a Bulgaria mug because that's where he was stuck at for like the past year. He said it was terrible, but I was really surprised that they actually had a mug for Bulgaria of all places. And then he got me an Italy one. I've actually been to Italy, so I can say that I've actually been there. He got me a shirt from the Coliseum also, and I have since misplaced it. But in my defense, again, we had family over, and I had to clean the house real quick, and I usually keep my clothes in the guest bedroom, and that's where my family was staying, was in the guest bedroom. So I don't, I'll find it. I'll find it eventually, but I did get a t-shirt, and I very much appreciate it. He also did a brief stop in Ireland when they had switched planes or something and he asked me what I wanted and he took me around a gift shop so I got some very nice shamrock 
earrings just in time for St. Patrick's Day. I didn't get them because of St. Patrick's Day. I got them because of Ireland. And that's probably kind of stereotypical, I guess. There's probably Irish people going, oh, no, you didn't. But, you know, it's, it's unique in America anyway. So I like them. I just thought it was very simple. He also got me a excessive shamrock decorated pen. I did ask for a pen because again, I work as a nurse and I do a lot of writing and stuff. And sometimes I think it's funny to make patients sign their consents with ridiculous pens. So he got me a ridiculous Irish pen and I left that one at work. So those were very nice. Okay, and I think that's all the gifts he returned with him. This is very sweet love my husband and then of course the other day i just wanted to show you guys what i got from the barnes and noble because it's been like six months since i've been to a barnes and noble and i found some things so i found two art books this artist here i've never heard of them before uh, josie shimazaki never heard of them before but i was scrolling through their art book section and i came across it and the reason why I got this book was because some of their illustrations kind of reminded me of how I do my little just doodles and procreate when I'm bored, particularly like this one. I was like, oh, this kind of reminds me how I doodle my stuff when I'm just doodling. So I thought it might be kind of inspirational, like maybe like, oh, I, I could do that. So I just kind of really liked the illustration style although the rest of these look it even comes with like a little art card the rest of these are much much more detailed than what i have the patience to do digitally anymore but i just thought again just for inspiration purposes i thought this would be fun to look at and then this book has been on my wish list for a long time because i've followed this artist on social media for a long time i finally found it at barnes and noble i didn't know that barnes and noble had it and i didn't know it was available offline so the instant i saw it i recognized it and i went ahead and picked it up so very cool i like to collect art books and just kind of inspirational the next things I got, I already opened this package because I wanted to take a look. I love journals and notebooks. I never use them, but I love school supplies so bad. So Barnes & Noble now sells these little Japanese campus notebooks. I love them. I didn't know that they sold them there. Look how little they are. My plan is, again, I'm, I just like to collect school supplies, so I'm probably not going to use it. But my plan is I could. Uh, I do study Spanish, so I could use them for Spanish things. But otherwise, they're just cute. I'm just going to add them to my board. It was just the moment I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen these in America before. I've never seen them offline. I've only seen them online, and they're just so cute. And they came in a pack, and they are I don't even know how much they cost. But I wouldn't have gotten so many, but they came in a pack. And then I got another new water cup for my watercolors. I've never seen this color before. Again, I've been using this little thing for years, just a little Tupperware container. It's my favorite water cup. I've bought a couple other little water palette cups recently, specifically from Five Below. But I've never seen this color, collapsible cup. I've only seen this one in that ugly green color. And I thought I would give it a try, especially because it's portable and it's collapsible. And my other cup, I've had it for years. So I'm tired of it and I want to find a replacement. So because this one came in a pretty green color, I was like, I'll go ahead and get that. And then lastly, I didn't know that Barnes & Noble sold Hanamiel products. Again, I love the Hanamule, the tan paper sketchbooks. I didn't find those at Barnes & Noble, but I did find just the basic white watercolor journal. And I love Hanamule, so I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. White paper right now is not my favorite thing. Oh gosh, I'm going to tear this open. But again, I was just like, I've never seen this product off of the internet before. And the moment I saw it, I was like, I'm going to get it. It was just surprising to me barnes and noble is like having fun in there it was too much fun the last thing i got was at a local gift shop because my mother-in-law was over we went to a couple touristy 
destination so she could pick up souvenirs. She's never been here before. And I purchased myself, well actually they give it to me for free. I purchased a t-shirt from the souvenir shop so that I could have a souvenir for when we move from here. But then they gave me a sticker for free. They said pick out a green one for St. Patrick's Day and you can have it. So I got this little guy and I want to just put it on my sketchbook. Da -da. So that's it. So again, this probably was a weird all over the place video. I don't even know what's happening with my life right now. I think probably for my next video maybe. I don't know if I'll do a complete like paint with me, probably. For this guy, I, I finished the sketch of him, but I didn't have time to paint while I had family here, and I can't draw in front of people anyway. So my plan is to paint this in my free time, get started on it, and hopefully I won't ruin it and it'll look nice. I've never used this paper before. I just, I bought the paper because I wanted to try it because it's, again, it's tan, but I haven't actually used it. So I'm hoping it can hold up to a good amount of watercolor and gouache abuse because that's what I'm going to do next. But otherwise, for right now, I'm going to go. And like I said, I got chores to do. I will see you guys in my next video. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.